Welcome. In a previous video I set up QSync Central on a QNAP NAS, and then I had some other videos where I set it up on a Mac, PC, iOS, and this video I'm going to be setting it up on Android. So I'll put a link in the description of that QNAP I'm using on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. I'll also put a link to my QNAP playlist where you can find those other videos. So I'm on my Android tablet right now. This is a Nexus 7. I don't know the exact version of Android it's running off the top of my head, but I'm in the Google Play Store and I've searched for QNAP. So there's a lot of different QNAP apps on here and you wanna look for QSync Pro. So see, it looks like this. It says Pro in the little corner. And then there's also a QSync. You want to use Pro, it's the newer version. So I'll just tap on that and then I'll click Install. So this will download and install it. Okay, the install is complete, I'll hit open. So we have a little guide pop up. It says synchronize and access files anytime, easy pairing for easy syncing, offline file support, manage team folders, and QSync data at a glance. So I'll hit start in the bottom right hand corner. It's going to ask for the region. So it's global in China, I'm choosing global. So when you tap global, there's no okay on here. You actually just have to kind of click out of it and then click the back arrow to go back a page. And now it's asking if QSync Pro can access your photos, media, and files. So I'll say allow. And it says allow it to take pictures and record video. I'll say allow to that also. So my QNAP NAS has shown up here automatically. If that didn't work, you could go down here to add NAS manually or sign in with QNAP IDs. So I'll tap that. So here we have the IP address. We have username. So I will change this. I'll type my password and I'm just going to cover the lens here. And then we have secure login, I'll tap that. And then if we go down to advanced settings here, that allows us to change the nickname and also change the port. But I don't need to do those things, so I'll just go back to the basic settings and then hit login in the upper right hand corner. And it says SSL connection is using an uncertified certificate, and that's true. I haven't installed a certificate on here, so I'm going to ignore this warning. I'll hit confirm. If you've installed a certificate, you'll want to heed that warning. So here it says, start, tap to pair and synchronize folders. So I'll tap the little plus here. It says, select device folder. Select a folder from your device to pair with a folder on the NAS. And then, then it says, select NAS folder. Select a folder on the NAS to pair with your device. And then selective sync. Selective sync allows you to sync specific subfolders within the folder pair. Only selected subfolders will be synchronized. So I'll select my folder. I'll go to internal storage. And I have one here I think called QNAP or QSync. So if you don't have QSync, you can create your own. I'll hit OK. I'll go to the NAS folder. I'll say select folder. I'll select QSync. I'll say OK. And I'll scroll down. And then we have selective sync. If we tap that, we can choose what we want synced. So I could turn these on or off. I'll just leave them all on for now. And then we have sync method. And we have two-way, one-way upload from device, and one-way download from NAS. So now you want to hit apply in the upper right hand corner, and then you want to hit next. It says set automatic sync frequency. It says nope, more frequent cycles consume more mobile data and battery life. Interval is off. So if we tap on that, we can do five minutes, 15, 30, one hour, two hours, six hours, or 12 hours. So I'll leave that off for now. And then we have an option for Wi-Fi only, so I'll turn that on. And then battery usage. So this would do it only when you're plugged in. And I would maybe turn that on, but I don't have it plugged into power right now, so I'm not going to use that. And then we have QSync quota. It says set the QSync quota for your device and SD card. So it says device quota is two gigabytes, external SD is zero bytes, and I don't have SD storage on this device. It says set a size limit for file syncing, and that's set to 200 megabytes. I'll hit done in the upper right hand corner. It says syncing consumes battery power. I'll say OK. So now it's preparing the sync. So on the left here it says more, pause, tap to pause all folder synchronization tasks, sync now, tap to synchronize all paired folders. And quick sync up here it says tap to perform quick sync, quick sync synchronizes files that have been changed or added since the last sync. And then we have sync status, it says tap to view the sync status and other details. And then tap here to manage paired folders to add, edit, or remove paired folders. Okay, I was running into some problems here because I had already had the QSync folder on here and I was confusing and I did that when I was testing it. So I got rid of that and I reset it up again. So now it's syncing properly. If I go to the 
Nexus 7 here, I can open this QSync folder and you see a photo in here. This is syncing with the with what I call the mobile folder on the uh, QSync drive. So I can go to the NAS now and we can see the QSync folder. And if we go into mobile, you can see that same photo there. Okay. So I have some other photos in here. What I can do with these is I can open these. I'm connected to the network, but say I wanted these to be portable, I could go over here and hit these three dots and then I could say offline browsing and that would sync it up so I could browse it offline. You could do that to a whole folder. And that happened very quickly. Um, if you had a thousand photos, it would take a little while for that to sync up. So next we can go to manage paired folders. So this is the QSync, this is the local drive, and this is the uh, remote drive. And then if we go to offline here, we'll see that QSync folder and inside we have that picture of the boots because I set it for offline mode. And next down here we have background task. And say we had uh, set it to sync a thousand images or something, you would see that running here and it would tell you the status of that. We have the file update center. So this will tell when files are added or removed. The team folder manager, and I haven't done any uh, videos on team folder yet, but if I do those, I'll be on my playlist. And then you have sharing links. So if you share a file, the links will show up here and then you could revoke them or check the links out or send them to people. If we go to settings here, we have set automatic frequency, Wi-Fi only, charging only, device quota, external quota, set size for syncing, add the QNAP ID, you can clear the cache, you can say browse the photo as full or the thumbnail, you can show hidden files, you can change the file list sorting, uh, sort order, always show the 360 button, region, filter settings, smart delete, so this allows you to delete items on your device, but save them on the NAS itself. Uh, resolution is always ask me. Player says always ask me. And then we have preferences here. And these are set up on the QNAP itself. So you can see what those are. Then down here we have help and feedback. You have app update, feedback, contact support, app quick start, introduction, requirements and features, disclaimer, tutorials, and about QNAP. Then down here we have contact support, I'm not going to hit that. I think that will automatically contact them and then remove NAS if you want to remove the NAS from the device. So QSync here gives you kind of a Dropbox type uh, functionality on your NAS. It's pretty handy. It's not handy if you have, say, like, um, you know, six terabytes of video. You're not going to sync that to your device. But um, if you have spreadsheets you use or maybe some shared, you know, corporate art, uh, you know, templates, things like that, you could put those on this here or you know, say there's a file you're working on at work, you could drag it over to your quick sync, you could have it on your tablet, and then when you get home, you could have it on your desktop too. You could have it all synced to each other. And it's an easy way to get files between uh, things too. So if you took a picture on the tablet or your phone and put it in your quick sync folder and have it synced up to the NAS, then when you get to your computer later, you can have that same folder um, with the document already synced to that folder ready to use. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.